years, he can campaign and win on his record. His state creating about half of all the jobs created in this great nation over the last three years. Well, now the governor's recruiting allies in business outside of Texas. This afternoon, Governor Perry met with members of the Job Creators Alliance. And our next guest, owner and operator of 27 hotels and restaurants, president and CEO of the Heart of America Group, Mike Hello. Whalen. Hi, Mike, joining us via Skype. So tell us about your meeting with Governor Perry. Well, I was there to represent the Job Creators Alliance, but it was a group of <clears throat> small and medium-sized businesses from Iowa. And we talked to uh, Governor Perry about what his plan was to try to get the job creation machine back on track in this country. And you probably heard our earlier guest uh, saying, boy, for small business especially, it's just tough. We're in an over-regulated environment. We need to back off those regulations and get some clarity. Uh, was that part of your message? Is that what you're experiencing? Well, I'll tell you what, Dan uh, from the NFIB must have been a mouse in the corner of the room. <laughs> uh, because what he said well, was almost exactly the message I heard today. Uncertainty with regard to taxes, particularly for the sub S and the LLC pass throughs, the four and a half million uh, of those small and medium sized businesses that create most of the jobs as well as uh, have most of the jobs. And uh, then you add Obamacare, where people can't even tell you what it means. And then you add a really uncertain situation where the government regulators have got bankers scared to make loans. It's a tsunami against jobs. So then how did the governor receive your message and what did he tell you he'd like to do about it to improve things? Well, he had a four point plan and I think you're going to hear it over and over. Don't spend all the money. Uh, let's make sure that the regulations uh, are slowed down so that we can kind of catch up. Uh, he talked about opening some bank credit up uh, and he talked about making the taxes uh, certain uh, and flatter. And so his message was very well received by the job creators in that room. You know, you mentioned the lending problems, and it's interesting. It's almost like banks are caught between a rock and a hard place, right? Because they're under pressure to keep those capital reserves and to stay right. healthy, if you will. But they're also being encouraged to loan out to small businesses. But some of the regional banking managers I've spoken with say, are saying, well, you know, there's just not a lot of demand from small business for loans. So can you give me a little bit of clarity on, on that sort of disconnect? Well, let me just tell you about my company, which is a solid 33-year-old company, Lots of financial resources, not huge, but strong company, low leverage. I had a great hotel project, the Hilton Garden Inn, with one of our Johnny's Steakhouses. And I took it to 25 banks, and every one of them said, Mike, great loan, great idea, uh, but we're scared we're going to get second guessed by the regulators come Monday morning. A, a, a study just uh, recently by Pepperdine uh, University. Uh, had 61% of the bankers admitting they didn't make a loan that they wanted to because of that fear of the regulators coming in. Hmm, that's fascinating. So, Mike, tell me about your hiring practices lately. Are you adding workers? Are you using a very uh, streamlined and efficient staff? I mean, what's your labor force look like right now? Well, we didn't lay anybody off, but we certainly got lean and mean like everybody did uh, a couple years ago and uh, kind of hunkered down. Uh, I like to say that I have a sickness called being an entrepreneur, and we are building a number of new projects, but we are kind of the exception. And uh, one of the reasons that we have spoken out, Bernie Marcus of Home Depot, who really was the founder of Job Creators Alliance, and a bunch of folks that have done it, said, look, we build our companies, but we want to make sure, and we're not sure today, that if we were starting out today, we could do the same thing. We might not even get out of the box. And uh, until we have policy changes, you won't see the heart of America's or the future Home Depot's uh, being built. Do you think it's going to take until after the next election? Well, you know, I'm an optimist uh, being an entrepreneur. I'd like to think that uh, somehow we can get clarity uh, on these uh, taxes, that we can start to get clarity on Obamacare or at least suspend it for a while, although I think that that's wishful thinking. I'd like to think that the bankers are starting to ease up. There's some indication that they are. Good. But you got a split personality when uh, Washington, D.C. is saying, why aren't the banks lending? And then the regulators are coming in the back door going, why are you doing that? All right, so what and do you that, think of Rick Perry as your next president? Would you vote for him? Well, I certainly think um, Governor Perry had a strong, a very strong pro-growth, pro-jobs, uh, not anti-government, but pro-jobs and pro-growth message. Uh, certainly joins the chorus of a few others. But boy, I'll tell you what, he was a pretty darn strong advocate in front of those 
eastern Iowans who are sitting there with uncertainty and fear in their eyes. All right, Mike, we sure appreciate your time and sharing your experience Thank with the you. governor today. Mike is the president and CEO of the Heart of America Group and a member of the Job Creators Alliance. A pleasure to speak with you. Thank you, Lori. And now we want to know what you think about Governor Rick Perry. Text us, buy, sell, or hold to scoreboard 369249.